just got home. Normally I start these videos in the morning and I say, oh, I'm so tired, I didn't get any sleep last night, but now I'm just gonna preempt it and I'm gonna say, oh, I'm gonna be tired tomorrow because I need to be awake in three hours, so I won't get any sleep tonight. Uh, I'm going to Rome, Italy. Um, technically I'm going today, not tomorrow, because it's already after midnight. So uh, you'll see me again tomorrow morning, very, very tired on the way to the airport. Okay, I just got out of our van that took us from the airport into downtown Rome. I pretty much already seen everything in the city because the van driver took us the scenic route. So uh, I've got nothing else to film. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I do need to actually go around and film it all now. I just saw it from the window of the van. So we've already got one of our sites right here. But there, there is no water as Fontana di Trevi, which is, which has no water. It's not a fountain if it doesn't have water. It's not a fountain at the moment. But well, we're still looking for a hotel. Everything's kind of expensive, but we found the Spanish Steps. They're supposed to be a tourist attraction. And I guess this water here is drinkable, so I'm gonna taste it and see how that goes. Well, the fountain tastes like normal water. I guess that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Okay, first meal in Rome. Seems like most restaurants don't want to open before noon, so all we found was a sandwich shop, but it looks really fresh, so it should be pretty good. Well, we finally found a hotel. We walked around the city for like three hours, and we finally uh, found a hotel that, number one, had rooms, because a lot of them are sold out, and number two is affordable, because everything's pretty expensive here. Just stumbled upon that church randomly, but it's actually really beautiful and there's not too many tourists there Even though there's so many tourists all over this part of town, but that place was pretty empty So it was a really nice experience to have it all to ourselves We walked across town to eat at this restaurant that we heard was really good. We realized this is the line of people that are waiting to eat here, and I'm not gonna wait in that bullshit. Okay, we're stopping for dinner. Everything's kind of expensive, and there's not a lot of restaurant options here, so we found a like nice little bar with some good drinks and some fun food options, so having a little uh, Aperol Spritz. Silva over here. And um, I'm not sure what we're doing after this. We'll see. We just finished dinner. It was okay. It was kind of like Italy's version of a dive bar, but it was fun. Good atmosphere. So this is a theater, which is not the Roman Colosseum, but it kind of looks like it. So this is like a facade around a different building just for decoration. This building up here looks ominous. We've been seeing a lot of military people around here and we figured out there's a big festival coming up in a couple days and I think they're going to be here marching and doing like ceremonial stuff. As you can see there's more than enough police for one random Monday night here. Yeah.
I almost feel like I shouldn't be walking down here. There's like no other civilians. It's just the two of us and everyone else is in uniform. But we haven't gotten in trouble yet. Yeah, I really feel like we weren't supposed to walk down that street, but we seemed to do it and they didn't seem to care. So that's cool. First full day in Rome today. I think we're just gonna wander around a little bit more and then tomorrow's gonna be the day where we do the uh, Vatican City and um, Colosseum and things like that. We might see them from the outside today, but we're not gonna go inside. So we'll just keep walking around and see what happens. There's a really nice garden here. We were trying to go inside, but I guess it's like the presidential, it's the presidential palace garden or something. So we can't go in there, but at least he's nice enough to try to open the gate so we can get a picture. So we're at this intersection where there's a fountain on each of the corners of the roads and then a nice church right there that we'll go take a look inside of. A lot of fountains in this city. So we're, we're at these Spanish steps right now. We, we came out at the top. So I guess I'll show you uh, what the stairs look like from the top going down. But yeah, we were here yesterday briefly because uh, I think I showed you this fountain. So it's a good way to cool off on a hot day. There's a lot of piazzas like this all over the city. And it's hard for me to remember which ones I've already filmed and which ones I haven't. It's also a military presence at pretty much any of the, the piazzas or any kind of touristy areas around here. There's so many people here, it's ridiculous. It's 5 p.m., so time for Aperol Spritz. Chin Chin. We were just on our way to dinner and we turned a corner and saw the Pantheon here. I guess that's how it goes in Rome. You'll just be walking down the streets and come upon this magnificent sight. It's really beautiful. After that nice diversion, it's time to go look for food. So we're making our way into the Jewish quarter now to maybe get some kosher food if it looks good tonight. Just found another interesting building, so we're gonna pop in there and check this one out. It looks like another cathedral of some sort. We're just trying to walk from point A to point B, but we keep getting distracted by all sorts of new buildings that look interesting, like this one. Uh, the lighting is terrible, you can't see it. But I think I'll have to go back there on another day and get some pictures. We decided that we're going to do a free walking tour, so we're going to link up with a group and go for a couple of hours, hours around the city and maybe learn something about all these sites that I'm seeing.
we're back in that square where I was last night. This building was illuminated red. That's why you might not realize it or recognize it, sorry. Um, right below the statue here, let me flip the camera around. This is a reproduction statue. The original is made out of gold and it's in the museum to the right. And down there, that little dot right there, that little dot on the ground there that I showed you would have represented the center of the world as according to the Roman Empire. See, I don't like going with tour groups too often, but sometimes you learn some cool stuff. All right, just finished the tour. It was pretty good, but it's midnight now, and I think I'm a little bit dehydrated. I haven't drank much water today. Most of the water I drank was just from the fountains they have around the city. So um, I might just call it a night. Good morning. We are on our way to the Vatican City to meet the Pope. Or should I say, to maybe catch a glimpse of him. I guess he makes an appearance every Wednesday, so we're gonna go to the Vatican City, see if we can see him, and then maybe do a quick tour around the Vatican. And then later today, try to get inside the Colosseum. We've seen the Colosseum from the outside, but we wanna get on the inside and see that view. So we'll see how the day progresses. As we're walking by a castle on our right side, or some kind of fortress, on our left side, there's a bunch of um, basically like movie crews, it looks like, um, sound and camera equipment and food vendors. Oh, it's just a Thank selfie though. I'm not filming forward, but okay. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Okay, so anyways, um, cause I guess they're filming like another Fast and Furious movie around here in the next couple weeks. So they're preparing for that. Well, water outside of the Vatican City is expensive, like twice the normal rate. So I think at this point, this is where we go through the security checkpoint. Well, I thought there'd be more security. We pretty much just walked right in. Maybe we're not really at the secured part of the Vatican City yet. Okay, that was the real security checkpoint, I think. Well, we have one hour before Mr. Pope comes out of his little house, so uh, we might go buy tickets to see the Vatican Museum while we're killing time. Oh, I guess this is perfect timing. The Pope is rolling up in his Pope mobile, although I can't see him from this distance. Oh, he's right there. So, here comes Mr. Pope in his Pope mobile. Thrilling. It, as it turns out, I guess the Pope is literally just driving in circles around here just so that everybody can get a good look at him, I suppose. But to be fair, I didn't expect to get so close to him. I thought he was just gonna show up on the balcony back there. So I guess it's kind of cool that he's driving around making circles for the people that actually care to see him. But I lost my friend Silva. She got a lot more excited than I did and she ran up in the crowd and now I don't know where she is. Well, I lost Silva again. I found her and then I lost her. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna hang out in this plaza until we get reunited. We just got into the Vatican Museum. A um, little bit of a line to get in here, but now it should be smooth sailing. Just some contemporary art it has nothing to do with the Vatican, but I think it looks really cool. We are on our way to the Sistine Chapel. As you can see here, it's a mess of tourists. Could be a really nice display with all the uh, murals on the ceilings and the sculptures if it weren't for so many people. 
You know how I feel about these crowds of tourists. So that last hallway was all tapestries with like famous scenes displayed on them. And this, this whole hallway is, a, it's kind of like a map room. So there's maps all over, which is my favorite so far. I really enjoy this room. I just really hate the feeling of shuffling around like a zombie like everyone else. I think the most impressive thing about this room is that it's actually not more crowded. I actually have some room to walk around here without bumping into people. These are called the Raphael rooms. I guess the frescoes are painted by Raphael. And to be honest, I can't remember his last name. I just think about the Ninja Turtle. After coming out of those rooms with famous paintings and tapestries and mosaics, now we're in this room with these creepy, ghostly silhouettes. I'm not really sure what's going on here. It's kind of weird. Yeah, that last room I just came out of was really strange. And uh, we're eventually trying to make our way to the Sistine Chapel. We still haven't seen it yet. Maybe that's the grand finale. Okay. Okay, we're just leaving the Sistine Chapel now where you're not supposed to have any film or videos. So that's all you get to see. And now we're back to more interesting artifacts. Lots of artifacts. Lots of walking. It's been a long morning. Getting tired and hungry now. This map is really great. You can see here around Italy is pretty detailed. And you start getting further away from Italy. And they this is a really really old map. So um, you have South America and like Mexico here. And they kinda don't sorry for the glare. They kinda don't know what North America looks like yet because it's still unexplored when this map was created. I find it really interesting. Now we passed the gift shop, but this place just keeps going and going. 